Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft, once again, is rolling out an update to improve specific areas of Windows 11, which they do roll out um, from time to time. And if we head to our update history, other updates, yeah, you'll see online service experience back Windows settings account version 4.0.483.0. And as mentioned, um, this is something they roll out quite frequently. The last time I received the same update was on the 16th of April. So that's give or take two months ago. So really every month or so they roll out these updates. And as I have mentioned previously, um, the online service experience packs in Windows 11 improve the delivery of changes and improvements from the cloud. So just a quick recap regarding... Um, these updates they are only for windows 11 they are not for windows 10 they get downloaded and installed automatically in the background um, as far as i'm aware on my device i've never had to restart my device and how i understand they will improve the delivery of changes and improvements from the cloud it means that when this update is installed microsoft then using a server-side update something they do from their side, then can improve specific areas of your Windows 11 OS. So as an example, your settings accounts page. So Microsoft has this to say, they also mentioned that these online service experience pack, packs work in a similar manner as the Windows feature experience packs. And they carry on to say, and um, basically it enables Microsoft to quickly make updates to specific areas outside of a major Windows update. And the difference between the two is that the Windows feature experience packs can deliver broad improvements across multiple areas of Windows, where the online uh, service experience packs are focused on delivering improvements for a specific area, such as the new Your Microsoft Accounts settings page. And yeah, we can see that over the last while, they've been pushing out these experience packs for settings account, settings accounts. And I do know that Microsoft is uh, pushing out a lot of improvements and changes and features to the accounts page. So that could be the reason why this is all taking place and is also happening. They're obviously um, planning to bring more improvements to the settings accounts page. So read the fact that they have pushed out this update once again. And uh, just on a quick side note, um, you may have seen the update uh, before or watching this video. You may have not obviously that rolls out to different regions at different times and um, microsoft also mentions that in the future more areas will be updated through the online service experience pack so you could get um these updates rolling out for your your settings app for the system page or for your apps page so you get the general idea so basically um they are focused on delivering improvements for specific areas of the actual OS and not a broad update which brings features across the board. So that's more or less what these updates are all about. And just putting it out there in case you would be interested. And that's the latest KB5017461, which obviously um, delivers changes and improvements from the cloud for specific areas of Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.